Nyla Dixon and Richard Taylor for The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Nyla Dixon is one of New Zealand's few true Hollywood insiders, thanks in a large part to her 2004 Oscar win for costume design for Return of the King. Pretty surreal environment, isn't it, that kind of precious Oscars environment? Did you um, feel like a rock star? Were you... You find yourself doing the craziest things, and you've just got to have a very good sense of humour about it. You get dragged along to some of the strangest parties. I, I mean, it's not my scene, and um, but it was fascinating to be there in that moment. Do you get treated very differently, and what difference has it made to your career to have one of those golden men and a BAFTA? Um, it's the absolute signature in the industry. You know, like to have an Oscar in particularly in America is huge respect and it's never forgotten you know like it it never loses its shine and um, whereas with most kind of awards you know five years later whatever it's sort of forgotten never with an Oscar that little shiny fellow now sits halfway up Nyla's stairway but it seems that she has no further to climb the last few years have seen her costumes cover some of the most valuable flesh in Hollywood. Edward Norton in The Illusionist, Leo DiCaprio in Blood Diamond, and Tom Cruise in Last Samurai, to name but a few. She's a very busy woman indeed. How much time would you spend living out of New Zealand on a vet play just for that, like, like, take the last decade, I know we've had rings in there, but... Yeah, um, eight months of the year. Right, wow. Yeah. God, do you like that aspect of I love life? that aspect of it. <laughs> You are seeing a side to a town, a country um, that nobody gets to see. You get inside extraordinary buildings, you know. But all the time, you know that you get to go home to New Zealand. You know, like it's. Um, and I am a big advertisement when I'm away. I, I bang on about it all the time. Come on! Heavenly Creatures was one of New Zealand's first true international successes and Nyla's lovingly rendered fashions of the 50s were a critical stitch in its fabric. That movie was such a gift to me. You know, like I went right back into all the old patterns. It was very familiar to me, that particular period. And the one thing I was obsessed about was making sure that I made everything because it was post-war and that's what it was all about. It was about having new clothes, you know, and it was about the sewing machine and making things. Our main idea for the day was to moid a mother. Nyla was one of seven future Oscar winners on a supremely talented cast and crew that would form the drive behind New Zealand cinema's future success, including Richard Taylor and, of course, Peter Jackson. Heavenly Creatures was, uh, was just one of those extraordinary ensemble film you know there was no money I think the wardrobe budget on that was something like twenty thousand um, dollars we were in some tin shed on the outside of Christchurch there was just a really interesting group of people there and it was it, the magic works under those circumstances the money doesn't matter the humor is enormous and the result speaks for all of that you know like but of course first and foremost you've got to have a great team leader Mr. Peter Jackson, Fran Walsh, you are amazing people. Nyla won't be reunited with Sir Peter on The Hobbit due to a scheduling conflict, but her creations can soon be seen on the big screen. She clothes fellow Kiwis, Timuera Morrison, and Taika Waititi in Green Lantern. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs>